Good morning. Today we're going to hear and see about a very interesting project in which we're participating in Estonia. We're having a very practical input to a very tremendous program. But first, I want you to meet Major Cedric and Lynn Hills. They're the regional commanders in Estonia. And Cedric is going to set the stage for our input. Let me represent Major Cedric Hills. He says, the country of Estonia is a small region of the Salvation Army in Northeast Europe. Linked to Finland, the region restarted in 1995 after re-independence from the Soviet Union. He says, we now have five core, one camp, and one social center. Hope House opened in 2002 as a community center, but was converted into a rehabilitation center in 2010. The center accommodates 20 men in shared dormitories, plus five in separate halfway house, offering more independence. New arrivals are screened for HIV and TB and given general health checks. Group discussions, regular Bible studies, and attendance at the local core are important elements of the program. Work therapy is central to the treatment regimen. Three days a week, residents prepare and serve a hot meal to more than 225 people from the local community. People queue in all kinds of weather for meals or assistance. On alternative days, the center distributes food parcels and clothes. One other important work therapy program is the Firewood Project. Working outdoors throughout the year, beneficiaries learn work routines and help generate valuable income to support the center. Sadly, the Firewood Project warehouse was destroyed by fire in December 2014. Thankfully, the project continues, although, says Major Hills, we nervously await news from our insurers. Many other income-generating activities take place, including making bricks and paving slabs. The goal of the center is return to society and independent living. We do not hide our faith and are thrilled to introduce men to Jesus. In the last four years, a number have become soldiers. One of those led the holiness meeting last Sunday. Three more will be enrolled as adherents at Easter. We praise God. Our project in Estonia is to renew the heating system in the Hope House. Currently, there is a diesel-powered system. You see it pictured here on the slide. There are three problems with the system. It's expensive, so use is restricted to a minimum. And you would know that today in Estonia it's 33 degrees, so restricted use is a little uncomfortable. The fuel tank is actually inside the building, as you can see here. Thirdly, the new Estonian government regulations require an alternative fuel source. The new heating system, the one that we're helping to install, is capable of using various fuels. The immediate plan is to use wood chips, wood granules, wooden logs, wood shavings, and sawdust. This complements the firewood project since the firewood is produced from logs bought at trade prices from the State Forestry Commission, and these offcuts that will be burned as fuels fuel have no commercial value. Thank you for what you do to make this and our other projects possible. Our three projects for this year are underway. If you recall, those are the motorbikes in Bangladesh, the officer nurse education in Indonesia, which you can read about in the source today, and a new heating system in Estonia. 
But our part in the project's not over. The needs for support never ends. And I would like to encourage you to keep praying, keep these people in your thoughts and minds. They face challenges we will never be aware of. Pray for them as you continue your daily devotions throughout the next weeks. And Major Hills says to all of us, we join Pat in saying a very sincere thank you. Thank you. Your help is deeply appreciated. May God bless you. And thanks to Commissioner Watson for being the voice. Thank you.